हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेरी गुड इवनिंग टू एवरीबडी आई एम रमिता योर फ्रेंड वेलकमिंग यू टू माई चैनल हाउ आर यू माई डियर फ्रेंड्स आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल स्टिल यू नीड टू मैसेज मी इन द कमेंट बॉक्स हाउ आर यू देन आई विल गेट टू नो हाउ मेनी मेम्बर्स आर फॉलोइंग मी एंड हु आर माई रियल फ्रेंड्स ओके सो यू नीड टू मैसेज मी इन द कमेंट बॉक्स सो फ्रेंड्स एज यू नो वी आर डूइंग यूनिट वन और पेपर सेवन फ्रॉम यूनिट वन वी कवर आई थिंक एट टू सेवन क्वेश्चन वी कवर सो टूडे विल स्टार्ट यूनिट टू सो फ्रेंड्स इन यूनिट टू फोर थियोरीज आर देर ओनली फोर थियोरीज आर देर सो फ्रॉम दैट वील डू द इम्पोर्टेंट वंस ओके आफ्टर दैट वील स्टार्ट पेपर एट क्लास रूम मैनेजमेंट ओके If my videos are really helpful for you, then don't forget to like once. Who are watching for the first time, they need to subscribe me to get more videos. Okay? So friends, one like to banta hai. Otherwise, it will hurt me. Okay? So don't forget to like and subscribe me, and don't forget to share with your friends. So let's start. Second unit. So friends, this is the unit two of paper seven, behaviorist perspectives of learning. So I already said four theories are there in this unit. So what are these? First we will see that. Okay, dear. So the first one, friends, trial and error theory by Thorndike, E. L. Thorndike. Trial error theory given by Thorndike, or we can say that connectionist theory. the second one conditioned respond theory or behaviorist theory in the two theories are there classical conditioning given by pavlov who pavlov please remember classical conditioning given by pavlov operant conditioning given by skinner okay and the third one learning by insight theory guess that and the fourth one observational theory by gagne so these are the four theories are there friends sorry for my bad handwriting please manage this time and friends only four theories are there but in exam they are asking in different ways so i will show you how they are asking okay so the first question is asking what are the principles should be used in classroom implication in trial and error method okay trial and error method means thorndike's theory okay second question differentiate between classical conditioning and operant conditioning classical conditioning given by pavlov and operant conditioning given by skinner okay third question write about the principles of operant conditioning see fourth question explain skinner theory so operant conditioning and skinner theory same only yes or no friends fifth question major laws of learning given by el thorndike el thorndike and trial and trial and error method same only explain pavlov's law means you have to explain classical conditioning okay and so many different are there but i don't uh, write all that okay Uh, for example i will show you the question paper here see here the b number explain trial and error theory of learning five mark question here asking what are the characteristics of operant conditioning and uh, mm, see here given explain pavlov classical conditioning is asking here you are asking explain classroom implication of social learning so how they are asking see here okay you got idea so now i will start the first question trial and error theory you will we will do now so friends the first one el thorndike trial and error theory so friends what do you mean by trial and error please comment me in the comment box what do you you understand about trial and error so we are trying something you are trying to solve a problem but uh, what happening you are unable to solve 
you are failed so what you will do again you will try again you fail again you will try again you fail so after so many times of trial you will get success so this is the trial and error method you can say yes or no so thorndike what thorndike el thorndike given saying about this theory you will see now so thorndike is an american psychologist okay and what he is given he is given trial and error theory so according to thorndike learning is a matter of bond connection learning is a matter of bond connection so what are the bond connection dear friends so there is the bond connection between stimuli and response so what is the stimuli you are feeling hungry for example you are feeling hungry so what you will do for the response you will eat food so this is the response to your stimuli so there is a connection always there is a connection between stimuli and response so friends you know for every action there is a reaction like that uh, for example you are feeling so cold so for that you are wearing a jacket so this is the connection between your stimuli and response okay friends i hope you are understood so according to thorndike bond connections are formed through trial and error how bond connections are formed by trial and error okay so we can say we learn by making trials how we will get learn by making trials by making error by mistakes we will learn we will try again and again until we succeed yes or no my dear friends for example i will say something uh for example in maths example i am taking this is the equation uh, 3x plus 5 equal to 17 so what is the x value you are you don't know so first you will try x equal to 1 you are not getting the answer then you will try x equal to 2 you are not getting answer you will put x equal to 3 so you will try the x value until you are getting lh lh is equal to rh yes or no so this is the trial and error theory okay you understand what are the basic of trial and error now we'll see thorndike's experiment so thorndike's puzzle box experiment so for to get the trial and error theory thorndike did one experiment what that experiment puzzle box experiment so in that puzzle box experiment he took one cat hungry cat so thorndike studied the char character of trial and error learning in a number of experiments with a cat he did experiment with the cat so in this experiment what he did friends he put an hungry cat he a hungry cat was placed in the box you can see here the box okay this is the door of the box so a hungry cat was placed in the box and the door was closed so what the cat will do dear friends the cat will try to come out from the door box and eat this food yes or no for example someone kidnapped you and placed in a room what you will do you will uh, try to escape from the room yes or no you will try uh, from the door from the window you will see what to do yes or no like that only the cat will try so many times to get out from the room okay so this is uh, there is one uh, wire is there if by chance by trying if the cat will press the wire the door will open if the door will open the cat will come out from the box and eat the fish okay so a fish a fish was placed outside the sorry outside the door 
सो द कैट ट्राइड सो मेनी टाइम्स सो द कैट डोंट नो द ट्रिक दैट्स वाई ही ट्राई सो मेनी टाइम्स टू गेट द फूड हाउ ही विल सी विल गेट आउट फ्रॉम द रूम बाई चांस बाई ट्राई ट्राइंग सो मेनी टाइम्स बाई चांस द डोर ओपन सो द कैट सडनली वॉट विल जम्प इमिडिएटली फ्रेंड्स दिस इज इमिडिएटली सॉरी फॉर माई रॉन्ग इमिडिएटली गेट द फूड ओके सो बाय ट्रायल मेथड द कैट वॉज एबल टू ओपन इट ओके सो दिस इज थ्रोन डाइट्स प्रजल बॉक्स एक्सपेरिमेंट सो वाट आर द बेसिक प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ दिस थ्योरी विल नोट विल रीड नाउ सो द फर्स्ट प्रिंसिपल वॉज बॉन्ड कनेक्शन ऑलरेडी आई सेड फॉर स्टीमुली देर इज रेस्पॉन्स दिस इज द कनेक्शन बिटवीन स्टीमुली एंड रेस्पॉन्स so uh, second one stimulus as motive so to st stimulus motive to do something you are feeling hungry so that hungry motive you to any how i will eat food now okay so motivation is very important in learning so need or desire to attend the goal we need motive so who motives us stimulus motives us okay now we will see the law law of learning given by thorndike my dear friends again i am saying you have to write according to the question what is asking in the question you will write according to that you will write according to the mark okay dear friends and don't forget to like my video so the first law is law of exercise so what is law of exercise so friends exercise means you will do some things means you will get to know so learning takes place by exercising we will learn by exercise we will you will learn by doing you will learn by actively participating in that work so this is law of exercise if you will not do you will not know how to do that yes or no so learning by doing this is the law of exercise okay so in that two sub laws are there law of use and law of disuse so what is law of use so friends uh you know the pythagoras theory okay you learn today if you will not practice that if you will not use that you will forget if you will use that you will uh, solve some problems uh, related to pythagoras theory means it will use to you so practice practice makes perfect and what is law of disuse so you learn the law of pythag uh, pythagoras theory but uh, you will not use that means what will happen you will forget that theory so lack of practice this is your r is there friends p r a so lack of practice leads to lack of perfect so you, you lack of perfect means you will forget the skill or the theory the formula law of use means practice makes perfect law of disuse lack of practice okay dear friends the second law is law of effect so what do you mean by effects friends are you are saying na bad effect side effect yes or no so for uh, there is a effect it can be positive effect it can be negative effect yes or no friends so what is positive or what is negative so for example i will give my example okay a uh, positive effect means uh, uh, friends i am making videos if you will like my video you will appreciate my video man this is positive so for your likes i will it will encourage me to make more videos what is negative effect 
नेगेटिव इफेक्ट मीन्स यू विल नॉट लाइक माय वीडियो यू विल डिसलाइक माय वीडियो यू विल नॉट कमेंट टू माय वीडियो मीन्स इट विल इफेक्ट मी नेगेटिवली सो आई विल थॉट आई एम वेस्टिंग माय टाइम सो नो बडी लाइक्स माय वीडियो सो आई विल नॉट माई आई विल नॉट मेक वीडियोज एनी मोर सो दिस इज नेगेटिव इफेक्ट ओके एनदर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू स्टडी मीन्स यू विल गेट गुड मार्क सो you will try more likely to study for the next time so you will get see you study means you will get good mark so if you will get good mark everybody will appreciate you so it is positive effect so for the next uh, for the next exam you will try for more mark yes or no the third one is law of readiness so this is very important important my dear friends so for every learner they need to ready physically mentally emotionally then only you will learn otherwise not so learners must be ready to learn so how much a child can achieve how much a child can learn it depends upon his readiness yes sir no friends so this is the law of readiness if uh, in exam it will ask you uh, what are the major laws of thorndike means you will write about the law of exercise law of effect and readiness okay the next question they they can ask like uh, what are the educational implications of trial and error theory means you will write this okay i hope you understood what what do you mean by these laws if you understood then like me so friends shortcutly i wrote some six points okay the first point is effect of motivation so effect of motivation uh, makes you to learn more things yes or no so motivation is very important in learning exercise patience so friends today only you will not get good marks no so for doing small small works leads to great work so learning is a gradual gradually slowly it will happen so you need to keep patience place of exercise you have to do daily you have to revise what you will learn you need to revise you have to revision for that okay uh learning by doing make learning meaningful uh next point we must learn basic things needed for it in any learning for any learning you need to know the basic things first okay how the basic things you will know by trial and error method this theory has drawn out our uh, drawn our attention to the principle of learning by doing you will learn only when you will do things so this is the principle of trial and error learning by doing okay friends shortcutly i wrote six points uh, you use your own words you add some uh, own words for it okay dear friends so i hope this video is helpful for you if this video is helpful for you then don't forget to like my dear friends i am using my efforts to explain you okay thank you for watching my video